Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go and be showing you how to normalize audio in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you're not already. If you do not have the application just go to the app store and download it and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can get started playing you have your audio recorder and so on so let's get started with seeing how we can normalize audio in GarageBand the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the audio recorder option right here that's going to open up this new recording menu and what we, have to, what we want to do is to click right here in the upper left corner click on this edit mode that's going to go ahead and open up the mixing mode where we can find all the tracks that we have as you can see here I might have my drum kit my keyboard and my audio recorder that let's say I want to normalize basically guys what we're going to be using for normalization is this uh, this option right here so if you click the sliders option right here next to fx you can see this is going to open up our track settings and once you scroll down you have your plugins and equalizer so I'm going to tap on plugins and equalizer and this is going to enable us to open up the visual equalizer and this visual equalizer is the option that's going to enable us to normalize our audio so here you want to get started with playing and select how you want it to sound drag it up or down depending how much you want to normalize it and then this is how you can go ahead and get your desired effect for your tracks once you're finished just go right here and click on done and this is automatically going to apply to your tracks and now they're going to be normalized but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye